Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video, doing the ECMWF 30 day forecast for today's second video. So as well as on Tuesday, we're having a look at the ECX model, and I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video today was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast, and we've got 10 to 14 day with all our great features coming through later on this afternoon. So please like, share, subscribe on the video, thank you so much for doing that. And thank you so much to ECMWF.int for supplying the charts as well. Thank you so much, EC. We're going to start off with the uh, week one mean sale pressure anomaly, taking us through the week we're currently in, which is the 1st to the 8th of March. So high pressure is dominating across much of northern uh, Europe in the uh, week ahead. Plenty of high pressure around. There's low pressure in the Atlantic. There's low pressure attempting to displace the high pressure, but most places are under the influence of that anticyclone. Uh, the 500 millibar height anomaly, let's just flip it over from the uh, north part of you down, north side back, so you can see the big ridge of high pressure here that's building through much of West Europe. We have got a trough of low, though, to the far north and uh, also, <coughs> excuse me, northeast of Europe. We still have a temperature anomaly, is looking uh, this week then for much of Europe, Ireland, UK, um, many parts of the low countries, France and down Spain, Portugal and also Northern Africa coming out uh, warmer than average, significantly so when we get down to Iberia, North Africa again, we see the temperature at only around 3 to 6 degrees above normal. From Italy eastwards though, uh, we're below average, especially through Greece and Turkey, and then those are cooler or colder than average temperature on its extent up the eastern side of Europe and particularly focus around Scandinavia and down to the Black Sea. So from Scandinavia over Baltic Sea into the Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania, down to uh, Belarus and Ukraine and then uh, south of that into the Black Sea area. We see that the temperature anomaly is colder than normal this week. Possibly colder for some late season snowfalls here across some parts of northeastern Europe. However, it's also going to be a lot of dry weather so that will negate uh, snow in most areas. So drier than average under the area of high pressure pretty much of northern, central and also east Europe. And even out into the west like we've got some parts of Germany, east of Germany anyway, coming out um, on the drier than average side. We've also got Spain and Portugal coming out drier than average as well and along with much of France over through to Italy and down to Greece. It is wetter um, through there. And then into the UK, Ireland and the Low Countries, it gets a little bit more showery perhaps. So not wet, but um, uh, slightly above as rainfall parts of the Low Countries. Into the UK and Ireland, near normal precipitation there, drier than average to uh, the north of Scotland. Right, so week two will be the 8th to the 15th of May, and uh, we get low pressure then in the North Atlantic, pushing into the far north and west Europe, high pressure sinking southwards towards Spain and Portugal. There's an area of low pressure around Italy, and uh, possibly some sort of area of high pressure in the far east of Europe as well. How are the 500 millibar heights looking? For next week, so if it looked like that, not as strong with a ridge across West Europe, but it's still there through Spain and Portugal to some degree, and also up towards Scandinavia. Low pressure through the central part of the Med, and also out into the Atlantic. It basically looks like looks like high pressure is splitting and starting to allow some energy to move in from off the Atlantic there. So the temperature anomaly uh, next week looks like that. Generally quite cool across most parts of Europe, but there are exceptions. Uh, one is the UK and Ireland, dry, uh, warm and average there. And again, Spain and Portugal, we see uh, significantly above average temperature anomalies once more, 3 to 6 degrees or more above average. However, from France eastwards all the way to Black Sea, uh, we're going to be below average next week by the look of it. So uh, a large area of cooler or cold and average temperature anomalies. That does include the eastern part of the Mediterranean as well. So if the Mediterranean split east to west, the western bowl of the Med, and back to Spain, Portugal, uh, with an average the eastern side of the Med from Italy to Greece and Turkey, uh, we see a cooler and average temperatures through there. And they go northwards up towards the Black Sea and again into the west of Russia below average temperature anomalies through there. Uh, through um, Scandinavia, it is beginning to warm up a little bit though. So closer to average there and into the Baltic Sea states as well, closer to average with the temperature next week. 
And as far as precipitation is concerned, so dry and average in the far southwest around Spain and Portugal, and also dry but normal in the far north and northeast, otherwise rather wet for the UK and Ireland, down to Greece and uh, towards Turkey as well. Now, particularly focused around the Balkans, the Ajax into, into uh, Italy, and then southwards to Greece. That looks like it will be the wettest area uh, in uh, Europe uh, next week, where there could be some heavy showers, first of all, lots of spells rain, also rather above as rainfall through east of France, low countries into Germany, and even northwards into uh, Denmark as well. Right, week three will be the 15th to the 22nd of May. How's this one looking? So it looks like low pressure is uh, becoming more in the ascents here, if anything, in the North Atlantic and uh, down towards Spain as well. Some higher pressure is moving over towards the eastern side of the Mediterranean mode, so presumably that might take some higher temperatures into the East and southeastern part of the Europe. That might bring some warmth up from North Africa into the southeast corner. We'll see about that in a moment. The uh, 500 middle bar heights again below average heights in the North Atlantic into Northwest Europe, above average heights down across the far south and southwest Europe. Winds again coming in from off the Atlantic rather like that. How is the temperature? anomaly looking so actually what i said it was wrong it's still below average believe it or not through this eastern southeastern part of europe again from like ukraine and the black sea southwards into romania for example balkans down into greece as well could have an average temperature through there but warmest conditions remain in the west maybe a little bit surprisingly and again it's especially focused around spain and portugal where we remain three to six degrees above normal and into north africa and as well, what about the precipitation anomaly? It looks like that's a weakening signal, as you always get further out you go. However, the southern, southwestern part of Europe looks relatively dry, and the far west, northwest does look a little bit uh, wetter. So, you know, it looks like we're bringing wet weather in from the Atlantic into the UK and Ireland, possibly affecting some parts of Scandinavia, low countries, maybe northern France and western Germany as well, perhaps. Uh, week four will be the 22nd of May to the 29th. Uh, so low pressure then uh, through the southwest and also in the Atlantic, but weakening higher pressure over on the east side of Europe. Now, I would have thought that high pressure going to drag up warmth from the south at the eastern side of Europe, but we'll we'll see about that with the temperature anomaly in a moment. 500 millibar heights look like this. Um, above average heights covering many parts of uh, Europe, actually. So that could bring uh, the warmth of the air up from the south a little bit further Westwards across Europe, maybe. What's the temperature normally doing? It's just generally above average across most areas, actually. Um, away from Scandinavia, UK, and Ireland in the northwest, right way down towards perhaps southeastern parts of Europe as well. Uh, warmest anomalies to average low countries, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, Germany, uh, into France, Spain, Portugal, into Mediterranean as well. The warmest temperatures like in the west, the southwestern part of Europe, and week four precipitation. Looks like that. Still, it's a little bit on the wetter side through these western regions, a little bit drier perhaps over on the eastern side of Europe. Just looking relatively unsettled, uh, mate, for western Europe, but also quite warm. Well, that's the 30 day forecast now, but let's have a look at weeks five and six data before we go. So, week five mean cell pressure anomalies the 29th of May to 5th of June. Some lower pressure in the far south and southwest of Europe, otherwise, not that much to uh, work with there. 500 millibar heights actually placing a ridge across Western Europe, so that would bring a lot of dry and warm weather with it, you would have thought. Temperature anomalies look relatively warm, especially across these western parts of Europe, perhaps a little bit uh, cooler or closer average in the east and the northeast, and the precipitation anomaly looks like that very, very weak signal by this point, but it's a little bit on the wet side from the Black Sea down towards Greece and to west of Spain and uh, Portugal as well. And then lastly, week six mean cell pressure anomalies the 5th to the 12th of June. Um, no, this week with uh, lower pressure across many parts of uh, Europe, actually, some high pressure up to the far north of Scandinavia, 500 millibar heights looking like that. So a Scandinavian high appearing again and maybe moving up towards Greenland, so a little bit of hint of northern blocking 
in fact, some low pressure in the Atlantic. Temperature are doubling for the 5th of 12th of June. Looks like that. Maybe cooling down a little bit or getting closer to average across um, central western parts of Europe. Anyway, still quite mild though in the far north and northwest. Uh, warm in far north and northwest. And precipitation wise, it is a weak signal, although it does look quite wet through the central and eastern part of the Med. Otherwise, there's not enough really there to, uh, to work with. Right, okay, that's your first day forecast done for uh, Europe for this week. Do it all over again next Tuesday. Remember, any forecast beyond five, seven days comes with big health warnings and also large pinches of start attacks. So just that shot what Molly is showing could look different next week. And we'll look at Molly again actually on uh, Saturday uh, morning with a UK and Ireland focus for that one. We'll be back shortly with your 10 to 14 down, including all our regular features. I'll be like early afternoon. So uh, keep checking back to the channel for more. Uh, for uh, this one though, that is all for now. And thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.